channel Cowboys Fan TV back again and uh, today we've got the weekend wrap up so we'll be going through every game and uh, giving our thoughts on, on each game and uh, yeah starting with Dimitri. Yeah so the first game was um, Storm Broncos, Storm won 22 to 12. Um, yeah I thought it was, uh, I think Storm dominated that first half and should have been further ahead if not for those who drop ball. And um, yeah, they just dominated possession and they had a massive field field advantage and should have taken um a, like should have taken hold of it more of the game and they should have just won it in the first half. So yeah, I think they um need to improve if they're gonna go on and make the grand final this season. Uh, the next game was uh, the Knights and the Sharks. Uh, the Knights got up 14-8. It was a pretty good game. The Knights dominated time of possession. David Clemmer and the Ford Pack really um, ran them up the park nicely. Uh, Edric Lee also contributed on the edge uh, with some good defence. Um, the Sharks also played well um, with um, Matt Moylan starring, I believe. Um, he's, he was probably their best player on the night. Um, and Big Fafita carrying up the, the middle of the park as well did quite well for them. Um, and we'll look to see how they go next, next week bouncing back because um, they're, they're a good side and I think they definitely underperformed against a, uh, a pretty fiery new Newcastle team. Uh, yeah, the next game was Roosters versus the Rabbitohs, um, probably one of the biggest rivalries in the NRL. Um, and yeah, as I, as I tipped, um, the Rabbitohs did, uh, were, were triumphant over the Roosters in a polished performance. I thought they were very slick, um, very good coming out of their own end and yeah, they just looked more organised um, and, and had better execution in the end. Um, I think some areas um, for the Roosters where they lacked was their composure. Um, towards the back end of the game, they did manage to score a couple of points. And uh, yeah, I think next week, uh, I think they they will back bounce back. But um, yeah, I, I just think it was such a good display by the, the Raptors. Yeah, and then we went to um, cross the ditch to New Zealand for New uh, Warriors beating Bulldogs 40 to six. So um, yeah, I think that Bulldogs team, I think that backline just good tip, Nick. Yeah, I think the um, the Warriors backline <laughs> was just too strong. Fussy Tua, Mamalo, Carter, Hiku, the two of us are They're big bodies that can really carry the ball back. At um, yeah, and they made massive meters and that. They just dominated that Bulldogs back line. They had nothing. Um, the forward packs were... Uh, the Bulldogs forward pack was good, but I just don't think their backs are good enough to take it up, um, like to score the tries off the back of the forwards doing their job, moving them up the field. And their halves as well need to learn. Foreign hasn't been in the game for a while now. Lewis just started, so uh, I think they need to pick up a good combination. And yeah, I don't think this year's going to be good for the Dogs. Uh, next up, uh, the footy return to Leichhardt again, the spiritual home of the West Tigers. Uh, this was a good game, West Tigers and Manly. Uh, the Tigers got up 20-6. to six. Robbie Farrow turned back the clock once again to 2005 and produced a pretty good performance, scoring two tries, um, kicking well and also running out of dummy half well, which is what I believe that the, uh, the Tigers won on the back of. Um, Manly played all right. It was a pretty dour game um, for their standards. I mean, not their recent standards at least. Um, with Daly Cherry Evans not really making much of an impact, his half combination with Kane LG will have will need some work. Um, Ryan Madison and Isan Masks also start for the Tigers. All right, uh, we move next. One three hundred Smile Stadium. Um, <coughs> wet Saturday night. Um, uh, this game had probably uh, the player of the round, uh, Jason Tamalolo, in it. Um, actually, no question. He was the player of the round. 
um, oh, with an astonishing 300 meters, 300 plus meters. You know, might I add that extra one meter? Um, but yeah, a really, um, a really solid display in, in wet weather conditions for the Cowboys. Obviously, Tom Lolo for the middle, such a wrecking ball for for the ball. Um, and yeah, I, I just thought Michael Morgan's kicking game uh, really added a nice effect to it. Um, his game management has really come to a new level now that uh, the post-JT era has begun. Um, and in some areas, the Dragons were good. Um, I thought, um, yeah, for them, I think they have too many ball players in the side and that's where they'll need to pick up with their communication um, to win games down the track. But yeah, obviously, such a great display by the Cowboys. And fuck you, Dimitri, that was quick. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so the next game was, um... Shit, I forgot now. Wait, 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 wait. Damo, do a shout out to Clarky for the... For the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll say, wait, watch that video, man. Okay, uh, um... Wait, what was the next game? Oh, Penrith Parramatta, yeah. Yeah, so, the next game was Penrith Parramatta. Um, Parramatta coming out on top in that one. I'm, uh, 22-12. Um, Wait, who tipped it? Who tipped it? Really convincing display from Parramatta. Uh, Penrith did nothing other than when Michael Jennings was um, sent off, which was a very ridiculous de- decision. That should not have happened. He tripped into it. I don't think you can say um, uh, Michael Jennings purposely went high there because he was already falling down. And yeah, on reports, fair for the high tackle by Sinbin. Yeah, that was a bit. And Penrith did capitalize, going two tries while he was off, but. Yeah, once he came back on, they just went straight back down the end. Parramatta scored, sealed the game, and yeah, I think Penrith were very um, clumsy with the ball. They had a few uh, sets on the line, and they were just doing ridiculous plays and knocking it on a lot in the slippery conditions. The backs were dropping it heaps un- under the high ball. So yeah, I think they really need to um, turn it around next week. Yeah, Ivan Cleary has a oh, big me. task ahead. <laughs> Uh, next up, we had another wet weather game, which seems to be the theme of, of round one. We had pretty much all of our games, except for the one being played in New Zealand, um, covered by some sort of rain. Um, we had the Titans, Clarkie's team. Um, <laughs> unlucky, mate. Unlucky. Zero <laughs> points. Nah, it's all right. You support Canberra as well. Yeah. Against um, his, his other team, his new adopted team, the Canberra Raiders. Um, in this game, it was, you know, no Ash Taylor for the Titans. They really lacked a clear um, leader to steer them around the park. I think Pete's did an all right job at trying to um, trying to lead the team and get them somewhere, but it just wasn't enough against um, a pretty solid Raiders outfit who I thought did well despite the conditions, um, knowing what kind of attacking flair that they possess with um, their halves and Josh Hodgson really starring for them in that game. So... Interesting to see where they go from here. And that was 21 nil as well, by the way. Zero points. <laughs> All right, guys, that's our weekend wrap-up. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, on Tuesday, we'll have the uh, tips for the, for the following week. So thanks and peace. <laughs>